Don't ever touch my sister again. Stop me. Break. There's only one reason you ever got on a friend. Every day got brutally harassed. This went on for years until he decided that never again would he shed another tear. So he walked through the door, grabbed the 4 4 out of his father's dresser drawer, and said, I can't take life no more. And like that, life can be lost. This ain't even a problem. All of us just sat back. What's happening? Think it's not my responsibility to solve the problem. It isn't about me. This is not my This is just one of the damn scenarios which we should be We're freaks. And we can't have a normal family. making sure we're working with all our faculties. <laughs> Everything I've seen in the woods so far, I'm winging it. Best. Okay. She was manipulating me, so I stopped listening to her. But when your caregiver and booze fixed her to your own mother, so she threatens, craves attention. It was the same line every time. What do you care? I'll be dead when you come home, anyways. So the first. 50 odd times you hear it, you believe her. 
say, don't do that, Mom. I love you. I'll see you when I get home. And then one day you're cranky and you're tired, you're fed up with their shit. You turn to leave. She says it one more time and it's good, I fucking hope you do! Some kind of private dick or what? Our parents drowned. Yes, but they didn't suffer. It was really quite peaceful. Any idea how this happened? Not my opinion? I don't know. It was a, any human being who comes in contact with my dad hole, or B, that drug crazy screwed up daughter of his, or C, Colonel Mustard. Good luck, Private Dick. Oh my God. Don't think God has much to do with this, yeah. So you 